You see, we have pieces of scripture that are pretty wild too, don't we? What do we know about John? You see, how about this one? In John chapter 21, now remember, what's the typology of John chapter 21? Well, this is the is, right? So when you, anybody that's new, when you hear me talking about the was, is, and is to come, the was is the Old Testament. The is is from Christ until the moment of the pre-trib escape, and then that begins the is to come, okay? That's why you have in, in uh, Ecclesiastes 1.9, it says um, what was shall be, meaning is to come, and what is shall be, which means is to come which means in the was of the Old Testament, in the is of the New Testament, reveals the is to come, which means the scripture must be filled with types and shadows revealing the revelation of the end. And that is exactly what has been happening here for five and a half years. Well, John 21 is no different. John 21 is, of course, from the time of Christ. However, we know that the Gospel of John in 21 chapters, you think maybe there's a reason the only book in the New Testament with 21 chapters? Do you think maybe there's a clue? Darn right there's a clue because it reveals the is to come in the chapters within it representing each of them as a year. So what do we see here? The Lord, right? He returned after his resurrection. So this is like at the tail end of the whole story. But what is it in the 20, 21st chapter of, of, the book of, uh, uh, of the book of John in the is to come? It's the end of the story. You see, it's the same end. And listen to what it says. It says, this spake he's signifying by what death he should glorify. Verse 20. Then Peter, turning about, seeing the disciple whom Jesus loved. That, of course, was John the apostle uh, that was following which also leaned on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter, uh, Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Right? Talking about John. What shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Thou follow me. Right? That's kind of interesting. That means there's the possibility that John is still here. You know, at Patmos, there is no record of John's death, by the way, for those that didn't know that. There is no recorded death of the Apostle John, even after the book of Revelation in Patmos. And then verse 23 says, Then went this saying abroad among the brethren that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die. But... If I will that he tarry till I come, what is it to thee? You see, that doesn't change anything. He's just saying, I didn't say he wouldn't die, meaning at the end of it all, it doesn't mean he's not going to die. I'm just saying he's going to remain here until I come. Hello. Think the possibility that John's still here? <laughs> I got to admit, I do. Maybe he was it was just the spirit and an angelic thing. But I believe he was John. And everything that he said, I believe he was John. But I'm not saying it absolutely was. But oh my goodness, <laughs> it's pretty wild. You see, if we go to Revelation chapter 10, we see the same thing in Revelation chapter 10, right? Here's the seventh angel of the seventh trumpet. So at the end of 14 years. Do you know that John, do you know that John chapter 21 is the end of 14 years? It's the end of the big picture 21 of which easy seven and then 14 years. It's the seventh trumpet, the end of the seventh trumpet. <laughs> and so look at what we see here. It says, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, right? Like Daniel uh, 12, because it's the end of the 13th and the start of the 14th. And then he tells him some info. And then what? It's, it's the typology of being at the end of the 14th year or the 14,000th and so forth, right? Or 21,000th. Uh, verse 8. 
And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand, the hand of the angel which stands upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall be in thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Hello. Hello. 